yeah, so we're here. Uh, <laughs> life has just been pretty crazy since, I don't know, it's crazy. I guess this is a quarantine and chill. I'm bored right now. It is 11.52 right now and I'm bored. So I thought I would sit down and talk to you guys. Cause I know everybody's bored right now. I know everybody's bored. We're going into quarantine day. What day is it? 10, 16, 20, 30, feels like it. I can't even imagine guys right now like, what it's gonna feel like when we've been locked in the house for a month because y'all can't get y'all shit together but we'll get into that we'll get into that um so i kind of just wanted to talk to you guys about i don't know this whole situation like how i'm holding up how are you guys holding up comment down below let me know what's up um this is definitely gonna be like a light-hearted video but this is not this is a pretty serious situation okay this ain't no joke but at the same time, sometimes you laugh to keep from crying. So, you know, we're just gonna be here, eat. I made a salad, ensalada right here. We got salad and tea. You know why I'm eating a salad right now? Because I'm running out of my quarantine snacks. This is sad. Can't even do a real mukbang snack. Get some juice, get your blanket, and let's chat. Please hit that subscribe button if you are so inclined to. Thank you guys for watching, and I don't know, let's hit it off. <laughs> I don't know. So, where do we start? Coronavirus. And honestly, I know it's kind of annoying that like we keep talking about this. But like, it kind of gets on my nerves when people are like, all everyone talks about is a coronavirus. Well, duh. What do you think we're going to talk about? It's just a ripple effect so like it's something that you kind of like have to talk about and address and it sucks but like we're in the moment it's three in the making baby the coronavirus has we're in china and even the beginning of 2020 we saw this coming but i think especially as americans we just feel untouchable so freaking annoying but nobody was truly concerned. You know, number 45 was a concern. Um, and they had been dealing for it, with it for months. And it spread and now it's here. And I would say about like March, the beginning of March is when we really started like talking about it. And it started making its way here. It's crazy, you guys are gonna be like, you are a little, but my family, or me and my mom and my dad, we went to go visit my sister. She lives in Seattle. And this was like March. It was my spring break, but it was like early March, okay? It was like the first week of March. So mind you, nobody really knew the severity of the disease. That's a lie. I mean, it happened in China, but honestly over here, there wasn't any panic towards it. And we were going to visit my sister because she lives in Seattle on her own and she just, you know, we wanted to have family time. So, but we are very cautious. Ooh. We were very cautious about traveling. And again, this was before like everything just went crazy. Now the crazy thing about going to Seattle was that it had, at the time, it had the highest number of coronavirus cases in the US, it had like 19. So yeah yeah guys i know um but long story short when we were there we were very cautious and careful about our surroundings but honestly for me that lessened the stigma of the the virus because i was directly in a city that was like affected by it and we were being healthy and safe so i wasn't initially like freaking out about it but i was cautious i wasn't being like an idiot so then we went home and mind you in seattle they were canceling universities all of this stuff Went home. I I'm from Michigan, Michigan, by the way. 
um, and it really wasn't that bad at this point but basically there were some cases at the time there was like two cases in Michigan when I came back um, I don't know how to eat cute so whatever came back from the airport you know I was napping and then I got a message on my phone that my university was extending spring break so I was like wow like what is going on they were saying that they were going to move instruction to online and I was like okay this has to be pretty serious so I would say without within a span of like two or two weeks a week or two weeks it kind of got crazy and honestly I took it so seriously when I came back from Seattle like I literally self-quarantined for two weeks when I came <laughs> home from traveling like I felt like I had like chest pressure coronavirus because I don't know if it was corona but I was so paranoid and I was like I know all of us right now are like if it's a cough if it's a sneeze it's corona like you're scared like i was low-key nervous but then at the same time you know sometimes when you travel you're just under the weather and you get sick so i was also like that could very well be it but i made it a point to stay away from other people when i came home so i've been home for about three weeks now and i'm doing great and i haven't really left the house ever since we've been on lockdown no i've just been <laughs> occupying my time there's a few things shout out to my friends shout out to my girls sucks it really sucks and that's also something people really don't understand and like i saw a tweet i'll pull it up if i remember where i can find it but people don't understand that when you're in quarantine it doesn't mean to like hop over to your friend's house and go hang out like it doesn't work that way your friend probably lives with other people the virus there's been a lot of people turning up with the virus without symptoms so you really need to like self-isolate and just really be around people that you know where their whereabouts have been and people who live in your household so that's psa number one because the way that people are maneuvering and thinking that oh i can have a house party no so yeah i've just been seeing a lot of foolery first of all can we get into this i'm kind of sick of y'all being really bored some of y'all i'm sorry not trying to be rude you need to get a hobby pick up a book Start a show, start a movie. Because the stuff I've been seeing on social media. You know, the challenges were cute for like the first day. Okay. But I am just seeing so many different, and no shade to anybody, but I'm just seeing so many different types of challenges. And I know we're all bored, but I keep getting tagged in challenges and I just don't want to do them. Two shot challenge, 10 second dance challenge um group photo challenge like there's so much i keep i got tagged in a hip roll challenge no i'm not doing it and nobody better tag me in no damn push-ups because i'm not doing 10 push-ups count me out because i'm not doing it wave challenge and old school challenge and what okay and then let's get into this until tomorrow what what does that mean in the comments below i'm not even trying to throw shade but can somebody tell me? I feel like it's some inside joke and I'm not in on it. And I'm just kind of irritated because I opened my timeline and I get we're all bored, guys. So then you might ask, Kim, how are you spending the time since you got so much to say about people? I've been dancing. I not TikToks. Okay, and that's the other thing. The dang savage challenge was cute for a few days, but I'm done. So I've been dancing. School or classes started back up this week because we had an extended spring break. So some of my dance classes are also online, which is questionable. Okay, but yeah, all my other classes, I had a few online classes already, so it's not that big of a deal for me. Um, but I've been dancing and I like to like freestyle in my basement working on my creativity, doing like ab workouts, stretching. Like I've just been trying to get my life together. Um, but I was filming some videos and actually the other day, quarantine activity for yesterday, which was Wednesday, did a dance to Kehlani's song, Toxic. Um, for fun, like I just love Kehlani. So dance to it, did my thing. Um, yesterday, Kehlani dropped her music video for Toxic. 
and it was fiery hot if you haven't seen it go watch it but and Paige like added Kehlani was like yo like this should be a challenge and so she's like okay I bet then send me some videos of y'all shaking it so I decided to post the video that I already did days ago before it was like a challenge and this wasn't involved with the challenge but I just included it with the challenge and it low-key blew up Kehlani quoted my tweets I will insert my screenshot here but she quoted my tweet like girl okay so she saw my video of her dancing or saw my video of me dancing to her song toxic and she liked it and everything but i was getting so much positive feedback so if there's a silver lining out of all of this i've been pretty productive like i've been trying trying like just as of recent like the past week girl i was laying around like a freaking slug like i was not doing anything but I was so happy that I was productive and like I decided to just dance and be creative because it paid off and one of my favorite artists. Yeah, that was a highlight. I don't know how people do mukbangs, I'm sorry. Cause I don't know why people like watching people eat. I feel like it's kind of nasty, but I'm eating so trying to take care of myself, take care of my skin work out why is my dio on my screen right now but my sleeping schedule has been trash 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 sleep schedule who i don't know her who the fuck is she because bitch i've been up i've lost track of time at this point take me what am i living for what am i take me guys i'll go to sleep at like 4 30 in the morning and I'll have to, and I'll wake up at like 11. I can't, I, I'm not the type of person who can lay in bed till three o'clock. Like I just can't do it. On two occasions, I've talked to some of my friends. So like, that's another thing, like FaceTiming your friends or like calling on the phone. That actually does a lot to your mood. I recommend that. But I'm also like, I've never been the type of person who really likes to go out anyway. So like on the weekends, you're gonna catch me in the house, like hanging out in my room by myself. Or with a friend but i'm the type of person who's pretty content with being by myself though so this whole situation isn't like a major blow to my existence like, wouldn't say i'm an introvert but i'm not an extrovert but like what do you call the in between i don't know but it's that part isn't really affecting me but there is a factor when it's like when you're being forced forced in a way to like be in the house then it's like you want to not be in the house it's like you kind of want to rebel so like there's that factor too but anyway i'm like literally the type of person who like stresses 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 a lot so i'm very proud of myself for like just learning how to be because a lot again a lot of us are in the same boat so you're not alone necessarily in how you're feeling or some of the situations you're going through and honestly, though, to anybody out there who has the corona or is there is a family member fighting for their lives right now, prayers out to you, like, seriously, like, I'm, my heart is with you because that's just something that nobody can truly understand. I saved some special tweets just to go over in this video because I thought they were so freaking funny. This says, if corona has ruined something, that you are looking forward to say i i so you guys know how people are panic buying which is another problem and i hate people for it because why the hell are you panic buying toilet paper you guys know that that's not a necessity like i know nobody wants to like wipe their butt with something else but like it's possible if you run out it's really not the end of the world you're taking resources from other people who need it so while some of you suburban mothers have freaking 12 cases of toilet paper and there's people out there who don't have any, F you. This tweet literally says, brush, scrubs, and brooms. Why brooms though? Can you broom out the virus? Excuse me? I saw another lady who bought like 10 cases of milk, like gallons of milk. And I'm like, 
milk spoils. So unless if you're going to drink that milk within the next 10 days, that was a waste. That was an absolute waste of milk. To me, it's one thing if you're like buying food and like stocking up on food. That's one thing. But when you're over buying one item just for the sake of it, just so you can have everything you need. Revolution. I've had this since my graduation, my graduation party from high school, which was like almost three years ago. We got lucky, okay? So I don't need to go out and buy hand sanitizer. But I'm sure that there's people who are like buying up these big things like getting three, four, five, six, seven. This thing will last you a freaking three, four years. I mean, right now, it probably won't last us that long because we've been using it like crazy. But there's just certain things that you don't need to like overbuy. You see what I'm saying? And Corona or quarantine hack, we got a Brita water filter. My sister had one and then we were like, oh, that's a good idea. If you can't afford it and if you have running water in your house, if you get the Brita water filter, you can filter out your water and it, the water tastes amazing and you don't have to overbuy water bottles and things like that so that people who actually do need it um can't purchase it i'm not saying you're like you're an awful person for like buying cases of water but it's just a little hack Ooh, thirsty but honestly but this is art students trying to have online classes As a dance major okay we had our first online class on Tuesday and I'm not gonna lie guys I can't stand it I absolutely cannot stand it we are on zoom trying to dance in our damn basements follow a teacher is too much and also tuition dance classes are not supposed to be taken online and our tuition also covers being able to dance in the facilities so the school needs to figure that out because this is literally what it feels like. No concerts. Artists are canceling their albums. That don't make no sense. I feel like this is the best time to drop music, but that's just me. Gas prices are lowered, but we ain't got nowhere to go. Sir. Honestly, like I think it's gonna get a lot worse before it gets better, but I'ma just sit in my house and just I don't know vibe out um so yeah guys this is kind of my quarantine and chill and let me know how are you all doing what are you guys doing spending your time doing and I'm sending all of my love to all of you guys out there my supporters my subscribers um I hope all of you guys are doing okay seriously don't leave your house unless if necessary um and yeah thanks so much for watching please hit that sub button if you have not already i will keep you entertained all quarantine and i will see you guys in my next video bye always scrubs his hands thoroughly be sure to get under those fingernails and don't forget about the knuckles and make sure those palms are squeaky clean all right let's see those hands now that's thorough. <laughs>